Thank you all so much for rallying behind our first amazing Man Mansfield Giving Day. We've had 1,886 laps of the quad, we've had 12 hours of rowing, um, we've had pumpkin carving, everyone's really joined in and I want to thank everybody for everything they've done and for everything they've given. There's only one group I particularly don't want to thank and that's the people who gave me words for my challenge which was to write a poem for Mansfield. I mean loquacious, Minerva. You know, how am I meant to rhyme those? Anyway, thank you for the thought. Um, and here is my poem, and I think I won't be giving up the day job. To Mansfield, on the occasion of its first Community Week and Giving Day, 29th of October 2020, and written using words kindly donated by students, staff, alumni and fellows. O oh Mansfield, will thy poem be salacious? No, but of necessity loquacious, if I am to capture every word, silly, moving, tricky, some absurd, which members of our great community have given as a challenge, just to see if in one simple homely verse I can capture Mansfield's universe, its nonconformist spirit, human rights, the a diverse range of students in its sights. I'll have to undertake some betterment if I'm to meet the task I have been sent. Will I need the wisdom of Minerva? Or just the will to dodge, to move, to swerve? A necessary move to get away from Prof Chris Martin, helping start the day by running very fast, he is no plod, to circum circumnavigate the Mansfield Quad. This, I feel, is really quite a hip way to demonstrate his fellowship, a quite delightful way to show that he feels a sense of solidarity with all our lovely college is about. Fun, care, safety, growth, and though don't shout about it, opportunity. Liberté, égalité, community. The late, latter word so good I got it twice. Also, soup and salad, pudding, rice, Gormley and Roosevelt, the hands building, tea, Basil the cat, and his daughter, B. These are the things that, where'er I roam, always make our Mansfield feel like home. <laughs>